The city has been in quite a fortunate position, um, not only as an institution that has existed for the past 20 years, but also its predecessor organizations through different transitions of local government in South Africa, to have always had quite a good and strong focus on information systems, on um, uh, sources of data and data management, um, utilizing um, technological innovations as they've uh, come into play. And, um, you know, well before my time, um, uh, using mainframe computing uh, in GIS systems um, and building up that level of expertise across a range of areas in the city. And I think really one of the big pivot points for um, the evolution of our approach as a um, you know, laying the foundations of becoming a data-driven organization is probably around the early 2000s when we started taking in um, uh, enterprise-wide platforms, uh, ERP systems that really standardized uh, an approach to business processes, to uh, information architecture, and I think laid the foundation for um, many of Cape Town's achievements. Uh, from that time, the city really has gone from strength to strength and, um, uh, you know, the particular example you cite of um, our open data approach came about uh, at the time that we were uh, the world design capital a few years ago. And uh, that really was off the back of, um, you know, the open data movement that was uh, moving through North America and Europe in the late 2000s um, and the early part of um, the last decade. And uh, I think the city was a beneficiary of that movement. Um, uh, certainly the networks that we were tapped into internationally, uh, this was a very big um, uh, driving motor of data governance, data transparency at the time. And we wanted to be a part of that. Um, and it was a signature delivery piece of the world design capital as an institution to encourage an open data approach. But really, I think that um, uh, in uh, more recent times, our decision to invest in specific data science capability that is not necessarily driven by uh, vendor-based architectures or products, but rather about the rapidly emerging field of data science uh, has been a um, very big booster for our overall approach to data. And we made that decision around three or four years ago. Uh, it was off the back of, you know, a lot of talk in um, the field and in the literature about the power of data and the power of data in public sector uh, decision-making if you could unlock it. And we realized that um, uh, through that historic journey that I, I laid out, that the city is this you know, incredible custodian and holder of so much data. Um, and there must be a way of trying to unlock that and enable it for better decision-making and taking the commitment for better decision-making beyond just a rhetorical commitment for, you know, um, uh, uh, having some affinity for um, uh, better public choices and better public policy. And uh, so that was a very conscious effort. And it was a very conscious effort to say, how can we bring these skills into the organization? Where do we locate them? Um, and what does that engender for us in the future? And from that point, uh, about three years ago, um, uh, we also broadened our view, um, not just thinking about uh, data science as, um, uh, you know, what is located in computer science or its cognates, but also uh, other fields that are data driven, especially as they pertain to public policy, that maybe in other parts of the world have had um, some focus, but not necessarily in South Africa or South African cities, um, to be precise. 
And that is, uh, you know, thinking about microeconomic tools for better public policy decision making using, uh, you know, as an example, cost benefit analyses. And so actually broadening our horizons for how we thought about data and what it meant um, and being driven rather by the kinds of questions that we wanted to ask, the kind of choices we wanted to make and where we would find the data and how we would manage that data instead of being driven by solely technological approaches. And all of that sort of coalesced, I'd say, two years ago in um, uh, starting to form a data strategy approach. And that data strategy went across the organization. We were able to bring in some of these skills that I spoke about and uh, leveraged existing capacities in the public policy and strategy space to bring together a data strategy that is organization-wide, that has as its, its focus better decision-making internally as an administration, but also for what we do for the residents that we serve um, uh, as part of our reason for our existence. Um, uh, and we officially adopted that uh, last year and launched it um, at the beginning of this year.